All right, today in this video, we're gonna be working with maybe the hottest shaft in golf right now. Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So this video is all about working with the new Fujikura Axiom Iron Shaft. Extremely hot shaft right now, getting a lot of requests, a lot of questions about it. So this video is just gonna be showing you a little bit about this shaft as far as what we actually need to do when we are using the shaft and we are installing this shaft into a set of irons. I've got a set of Mira irons today that we're gonna be reshafting with these 105 Stiff Flex Axiom shafts. Now, first thing to realize with these Fujikura shafts is that they come in three distinct length slash profiles, let's call them. So there's basically three shafts, one for the long irons, one for the mid irons, and one for the short irons. So the two important things we're gonna be looking at today is first off, these are all 370 parallel tip shafts. So even though there are three distinct shafts, they are all parallel tip. First, what that means is we're going to have to do some tip trimming on some of these shafts in order to make each particular shaft fit the specific iron that it's meant to match up with. Now, the other thing we're going to have to do today, because these are going into a set of Mira taper tip iron heads, is we're going to have to make these tips fit into those heads. Now, when it comes to putting different tip diameter shafts into heads, you've seen plenty of videos where I use 355 taper tip shafts into 370 parallel heads, but I don't know that I've actually shown going the opposite direction and putting 370 parallel tip shafts into 355 taper tip hosels. So that's what we're gonna do today in this video. When we're dealing with graphite shafts, you are gonna find there are a number of graphite shafts that do not make uh, whatever model it is in a taper tip design. They make it in a parallel tip design. And the whole idea there is if you need it tapered, you can taper it yourself. So I'm gonna be showing you that today. We're gonna to be tapering these shafts in in order to get the proper fit. Now, Fujikura actually sent me this nice little card laminated that tells me exactly how far I need to cut everything. But as you can see here, for the longest iron we're going to be doing today, we're going to be using this long parallel shaft and we're going to have to cut it one inch. The mid irons, the five iron nothing, the six iron a half, the seven inch one, and on down. So basically treating it like three distinctive shafts and trimming it accordingly. So that's the first thing we're going to do is cut all of these to the right tip trimming measurement. Now these shafts have this beautiful black matte finish on them, really nice, really high quality. As you can see, the logos look good. Definitely like the way the logo looks like this in the down position, which is how we're gonna install these. Only problem is they are black, which means when I use my black marker to mark the shaft, it's a little bit hard to see, but you can still make it out, so I don't think I need to put any extra tape on it. So four iron shaft, like we said in the beginning, we're gonna cut this one inch off the tip. Also go ahead and mark for future reference that this is the four iron. Now the five iron, we're not gonna be doing anything with because it's the first of the mid iron shafts. So we're just gonna say it's the five. The six iron, we're gonna cut a half inch and down the line. All right, we've cut all the tips we needed to and left the ones we didn't need to alone, but now we have to deal with this, the fact that these shafts at 370 are not gonna fit inside these hosels at 355. So at this point, what we're basically doing is just using our little sanding belt and working off not only the finish of the paint because it doesn't give us as good a bonding surface when there's paint on there, but we also need to just make our own slight taper down here at the tip of the shaft so that it just fits snugly inside here. And look, there's really no easy, simple way to do this other than to just 
work at it slowly and test it as you go until it fits inside the hosel the right amount. Just kind of work slowly. The worst thing you can do is try and push it too hard, take off too much material and either ruin the shaft or make the fit too loose. So you just kind of have to work at it slowly, stop, check it, see how it's going, go back, do a little more. So as we're working these shafts down, as you can see, we're gonna start being able to fit a little bit more of the shaft in as we go. And all you need to do really is just kind of put it in as far as it'll go, give it a little twist, and it'll show on the end of the shaft, you'll see a little shiny mark where you're getting those, those friction or contact points against the side of the hosel. And that's how you know where you need to focus and take a little bit more of that shaft down is on those shiny little sections. And again, we just keep working and going down until we eventually get it where it fits nicely inside the entire hosel, nice and snug, but still fits fully inside. So I hope this video is helpful, both showing you a little bit more information about the new Fujikura Axiom shaft. Again, extremely popular, extremely hot right now. So definitely I think there's gonna be a lot of people wanting to look at this shaft and putting it into their irons. And two, just giving you a better idea of what you need to do if you've got parallel tip shafts that have to go into some taper tip iron heads. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go down below, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you next time on the next video.